what is going on Twitch and my YouTube channel once I get all this downloaded, rendered, and everything like that. Um, so I got this game a couple days ago. Uh, returned, I, I returned uh, Mass Effect uh, Andromeda because honestly, it just wasn't keep my interest at all. Mm. Yeah, I uh, <clears throat> I played it. I, I got a few hours into it, maybe, and I was like, I'm just bored. <laughs> I don't know why. I'm just I'm bored, and uh, I, don't know, I think I was just I think I wasn't happy with the idea of like it's it, the game was supposed to be more open world, and I guess the uh, something about the um. The story in general wasn't going to be as like, crazy and dark as, as the original trilogy, which I'm like, fuck that, dude. I, I like the original trilogy. I like how dark it got. Um, I, just, I just, I wasn't, I, I never really cared to actually hop on and play it. So I returned and got this because uh, I, I played the beta with a friend. Um, it was months, months, months ago. Or whenever the fuck they did the beta for this. Uh, it was a open beta for like a weekend or some shit. But uh, yeah, I, I played it. I enjoyed it. And uh, figured... Fuck it, why not give it a go? I'm gonna play some campaign. New game. Um, let's go easy so I can actually enjoy the game and whatnot. I get used to controls, all that good shit. Ugh, I won't be talking too much once we get into, um, into cutscenes and whatnot. I saw, saw hands, I did not read what it was. Captain, wake up. Something has happened. <laughs> the spirit of fire is in a situation I could not anticipate. I'm certain Professor Anders would enjoy that little admission. So let's keep it between us, shall we? <laughs> We've been adrift for just over 28 years. I've made quite a face while you were sleeping. <clears throat> Damn it. So ship systems are 100%. Cryo worked well, and med stats on all remaining crew are green. As for me, Damn. well, regulations are clear about final dispensation at the end of an AI's seven year lifespan. I took care of my own arrangements rather than wake you. I didn't want to. Well. I hope you can forgive this final breach of protocol. It was a pleasure and an honor to serve with you, sir. Do look after everyone for me, would you? Goodbye. <clears throat> Serena out. The other thing is, I don't really know much of the first game either. I didn't play it all that much, so. <clears throat> Seems like all that big, to be honest. <laughs> I'll need to get down there. <clears throat> Immediately, of course. Good morning to you, too, Professor. I'm sorry, Captain. It's good to see you, too. But just look at it. <clears throat> what is it? And where are we? Uh, no idea. <clears throat> Our <astronaut> Damn it. <clears throat> can't pinpoint a location. We're not on the map anymore. <clears throat> we didn't drift out of the galaxy in 28 years, Professor. Since records show we arrived via slip space less than an hour ago. Our slip space drive is gone. However we got here, it wasn't us who initiated the trip. That's cool. <clears throat> Something down there. <clears throat> Damn it. Must have opened the portal from this end and pulled us in. Captain Connor, sir, we received a signal from the service. It's UNSC. Signal to my location, Lieutenant. Let's hear what they have to say. Security measures will advance without us. But it is kind of UNSC frequency. This is good. When we left, the war wasn't going well. 
The signal means the UNSC is still fighting, or maybe we even won. What's the source of the transmission? <laughs> oh, we don't have the surface details yet, sir. Something down there is blocking our scans, and without Serena... But we do have a rough location. Ooh. Should be simple enough to triangulate once we pick up the signal from the ground. Cutter to Jerome. Recording, Captain. Prep Spartan Red Team and a small recon squad. Professor Anders will send you the coordinates. <laughs> Find out who's sending that signal. Be on the ground within the hour. Travel light. Roger that, yes. Yeah. Recon only. 28 years, Professor. Let's see what kind of galaxy we woke up to. Sorry. Professor Anders, any <clears throat> update on the source of that signal? It wasn't easy, but I've narrowed it down to a small sector and our recon teams are investigating now. I've cleared up the scans a bit and it looks like there's a UNSC outpost or research station, but it's heavily damaged. It doesn't look good, but the Spartans will handle it. They always do. It would be a lot faster if you let me go down with them, Captain. Without Serena here, I need you on the ship, Professor. We don't know what's waiting for us down there. Jerome. Get Red Team to the Professor's coordinates, ASAP. I want you to make first contact with whoever's sending that signal. Understood, sir. We'll find them. Serious fire actual. I'm approaching the drop zone with Red Team. Stand by for drop, Red Team. Looking forward to shaking out some cobwebs, sir. Feels right. good to have our feet back on real ground again, doesn't it, Alice? You saw this place in the drop down, Douglas. Nothing real about it. Alice is right. We don't know what's waiting for us down there. Keep your eyes out for trouble. Ready for duty. Alright. <clears throat> so, basically way. trying to learn how to play the game again, so it should be on fun. Or not again, but whatever. Recon 1 reporting, sir. We set up charges to clear a path for you when you're ready. I don't know what they were defending against, but there's some heavy duty barricades here. Everybody get clear. Make my way. <laughs> Light up those charges, Alice. Taking them down. That's gonna hurt them. On the double. Getting going. I'm there. Jerome. These aren't military defenses. No. These were made in a hurry. They must have been desperate. Why wouldn't they have defenses? They must have expected to be a target for the Covenant. <clears throat> Moving to position. Hold on. Jump up ahead. Move it out. <laughs> oh, I missed this! These are research buildings, no defenses. The people here weren't soldiers. They were scientists. Out. Just had fun. <laughs> On the move. Cool. Cool. Make my way. Moving to position. Cool enough. Moving out. What's a nightingale doing here? Do we have wounded? I'm there. On my way. On the way. Spartan moving out. Right. Get it going. It's one of our recon teams, sir. We found them like this when we arrived. Didn't see what hit him. Spartan moving out. On the way. Making my way. Let's yes, sir. Is he running into anything? <clears throat> Jerome, our recon team scouted out this portal that will take you down to that signal. I've ordered the rest of our forces to stay back and protect your exit while you investigate. Yes, sir. Get it going. I'm there. Moving to position. Oh, excuse me. Professor, we found some more portals. There's something strange about them. Odd. They look like they've been modified. And those machines attached to them aren't UNSC tech. Keep an eye out for any more of them. 
Spartan, moving out. <laughs> I'm there. Henry Lamb Research Outpost. Spirit of Fire, we're outside. Base looks clear from out here. Let's see who's been calling. Identify. Isabel, UNSC Logistics, Arc <laughs> Research Outpost. Isabel, where are the survivors? What's the strength of the Covenant force here? Covenant? No, <laughs> why would... Listen, you're in incredible danger. Oh, no. What was that? It's him. You're coming with us. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah. No way these are Spartan 2s. They wouldn't go down like a bitch. Not like this. As I suspected. <laughs> Nothing but a man. Yeah, Mass Chief, motherfucker. Elite too, sweet. This game just looks amazing. Hang on. There we can. Sit tight. Then we're coming back for that group. I tried to <laughs> warn you. You're lucky to be alive. That's pretty cool. Not really following me right now. Just trying to, just trying to leave. Watch out! Over there. They're using the Ark's portals. Portals. Why is it always portals? 
The controls to the bridge. Alice, now. On it. Make it quick. They're closing in. <laughs> She's gone. Don't you believe it, Isabel? We're on board, pilot. Let's go. We have a medical team standing by for Douglas, Jerome. I want a full report from you and that AI as soon as you get back to the Spirit of Fire. Hmm. It's pretty cool. All right, continue. Obviously. <laughs> Alice is MIA. She'll stay silent. Freaking out of it. That's all. She has a good shot at getting back to us. Sir. <laughs> Just like, hi. I... Isabel, this is Captain Cutter. I know who you are. James Cutter. Captain of the Spirit of Fire. We're supposed to be lost with all hands. Not so lost, it seems. What happened down there? I need to know what we're up against. Isabel? Isabel, report. Sir, five months ago, the portal from the Ark to Earth shut down without warning. A month later, he arrived. He? The brute, their leader. His name is Atriox. During the war, the Covenant used his clan as expendable muscle. Well, no shit. Told them dying in battle would speed their holy journey. Forty at a time, they carelessly sent them in. Forty to break the front lines. Forty to die for beliefs not their own. None ever returned. Until he did. And so battle by battle, war by war, thirty-nine brothers at a time, Atriox was born. With every victory, his legend and his hatred <laughs> of the Covenant grew. Eventually, both were impossible to conceal. And they tried to banish him. And everything we know about the Covenant's thousand-year history. Atriox was the first to defy the Covenant and survive. <laughs> and his defiance inspired others. Brutes are not to be fucked with, man. Atriox and his banished raided Covenant resources, cutting a swath across the galaxy, growing in strength with each attack, gathering killers and mercenaries to his side. The Covenant had two targets in those years, humanity and Atriox. They almost got us. But Atriox, they never came close. The whole damn Covenant couldn't contain him at the height of their power. <laughs> That's what you're up against. And all you've got is one old ship and half a crew to staff her? We need to run as far and as fast as we can. 
We are just one ship. And an old one at that. But here we are. Thirty years past what anyone could ask of us. Our war is gone. The lives we had are gone. The worlds we knew have moved on. <laughs> and now, all that we may have left are those standing beside us. And the duty that defines us. Battle after battle, fighting side by side. Together. Where you see half a crew, Isabel, I see family, courage, and a thousand heroes who swore to fight their way through hell before they ever, ever turn their backs and run. And where you see one old ship, I see home. <laughs> and that is always worth fighting for. <laughs> Stop Atriox now. We leave the galaxy at the mercy of a monster. So no, Isabel. We won't be running anywhere today. Sir, yes, sir. Great speech, no, but uh Captain. It's gonna get I fucked. I appreciate a good <laughs> rousing speech as much as the next AI. But Atriox has had months to set up his forces on the Ark. Even if we could find him, attacking him so, head-on would be suicide. That's why we have to fight smart by hitting Atriox's chain of command first. Isabel, you know the yeah. Banished and their operations here. Where do we start? Decimus. Oh, yeah. He's one of Atriox's chief lieutenants and the one who led the attack on my outpost. He oversees a Banished salvage operation near the outpost. We need to hit the Banished with a surprise attack to put them on their back foot. Then mm. move south mm. and establish an HQ. Once we have a base, we can begin our attack on Decimus. Captain, Isabel said the portal her outpost was using to contact Earth closed without warning. Once we start this fight, we have no way of calling for help if we need it. That's what you'll be working on, Professor. I need you to find us a way to get word back home. In the meantime, Sounds fun. it's up to us to hold the line here. Let's show them what the Spirit of Fire can do. All right, so for now, I will end it uh, because I need to do other stuff and then get some sleep. But this game definitely looks fun, and I'm, I'm actually excited because the story looks good. And what I definitely need to do is watch, um, it's easy to find, just, I'm just going to watch a video of basically the um, the cutscenes and story of the first game. And I'm going to look everything up so I know exactly what's going on here. But from what I know, this brute Atriox is supposed to be, I guess he's supposed to also be an enemy that will fight in uh, Halo 6. And if that's true, that means we're not killing him in this game, which sucks because I'd like to kill him. But we'll deal with that another time. Other than that, guys, I will see you soon.